How did that not kill him? Two magnum rounds to a bare chest and he's still standing. What the hell, man? That's bullshit. Welcome back, everybody, to Subsistence. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to turn our email alerts off so they don't be doing that. <laughs> uh, what we're going to do in uh, today's episode is we are going to go down to the lava cave for the first time. All right, I'm excited to do this. So uh, I just got attacked again uh, by all three hunter groups overnight. They mostly focused their damage kind of on that area of the base, so I got that all fixed up and not expecting an attack now from them for at least another day. Um, so let's see here. I have, uh, I made another drill. Uh, so I got this going and it's it's back to doing water for us. I will uh, do the power efficiency upgrade, but I don't have any more crystal because I use the rest of it to make more arrows. Um, you guys, one of you guys told me in the comments that the extraction speed doesn't actually work. Can somebody else confirm that for me that that is indeed the case? Uh, because I went ahead and did it on here before I was told that. And if that is indeed the case, then I'm not going to waste resources, of course, uh, upgrading that second one. So if I can get a second on that, that would be good. It's not that I don't believe the first person. It's just that, you know, people give me misinformation. And most of the time, if not all the time, they don't mean to. But they're just, you know, they're not uh, accurate in their their comments. And so, uh, you know, it'd be good to know from a couple other people, too, if that is indeed the case. Uh, so let's go ahead and put this stuff away here and I want to make sure you're topped off and I'm going to actually turn you off while we're gone just because the power drain is is really when that's on and the two drills are also running uh, the power drain is really close to even and I don't want to, to run out of power while we're down below. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and eat this right now just to get nice and topped off and maxed out on our caps, which is good. All right, now we need to decide what we're going to take down with us. So last time we took the Magnum, which I think we will again, and we took the normal rifle um, and the shotgun too. So why don't we do that again? Uh, we're, we're taking the the less valuable versions of these just in case the worst happens and we'll put this away this away this away I guess we could take the normal bow down there with us but I'm not gonna take the premium arrows down with us all right so that means we're gonna put well hmm do I want to do that uh yeah I nah nah I don't think I will I don't think I will which means uh, we don't need to take these arrows then either so what we'll do is we'll take the pistol, the magnum, the shotgun, the normal shotgun, and the rifle. And of course we have our, we have to take our climbing picks. And as far as ammo goes, I've got a total of 32 rifles. So let's split those in half. We'll take all of the nines with us because that stuff's easy to replace if if it comes down to it. Um, and we'll take all the magnums that we currently have too. And that should be that should be plenty. I want to take a couple extra picks, so let's grab stuff to make another one of those because this one is almost worn out. And of course our goal, as always, when we go down to the caves is to bring as much crystal back as we can and secondarily, uh, coal. Alright, so we got that going. I have water and food down there already in our, in our FOB, so I'm not worried about that. And let's see, I'm leaving my lock pick behind because we don't need to take that down there either, of course. And I think we're good. Oh, we should probably... Well, we did leave... We le we left antibiotics down there, so we're good. But let's get a couple more uh, bandages. I'm really low on, on hide here. Um, some bandages and another... Maybe a couple more. Nah, let's just do three more of those. I'd like to have five. And then we'll do maybe like six seven more bandages yeah we are really low on hide so we're gonna have to go do some hunting all right let's put that back in there and oh that doesn't go in there that goes in here i was gonna say something doesn't look right that can go in there that can go in there that can go in there and that goes in there okay so i think we're good to go um 
Do I have any more shotgun shells? I do. Yeah, we don't have a, a ton, so let's just take everything we have. I've, I've been building up my my gunpowder and casing, so we can definitely make more ammo as needed. So I think we're good. Oh, you know what else, though? Actually, we need this, of course. I need to make a couple of, of tanks. Uh, we just need one to get down and one to get back up. So, let's see. That's 16 zinc and 4 cordage. I don't have any processed zinc in there. There we go. And we'll hit two of those. And we should be good. Okay. Let's make sure nobody else is coming. I don't... Again, I'm not expecting an, another attack for the rest of this day and hopefully all of tomorrow. It is uh, June now, so we're starting to get hot. I've, you know, I don't ever have a problem staying warm in the winter with the stoves, but I certainly get hot in here in the summer. But I don't want to turn these off because these are processing ash and, you know, fat and that sort of thing for us. Uh, speaking of which, we should top those both off. I'm just going to use Presto Logs. So, we might consider making an air conditioner. What's it take to make that? You know, that's not that expensive, actually. I mean, it sort of kind of is, but not super bad. So, I might end up making that for summertime usage. Because otherwise, we're you know, we're just getting thirsty all of the time. Um, okay, so let's drink a couple of those to get our thirst back under control. Once we get down into the cave... Well, actually, when we get down to the lava cave, we are going to get quite a bit thirsty so that being said I think I'm gonna take the rest of that these uh, here let's take those or at least half of those with us too but I do have some down at the FOB as well okay we'll grab that and I think we're good to go so power 169 in only 55 out and you know what actually I'm going to do? I'm going to run the other Jenny too. I just want to, I do not want to run out of power while we're down there. Because that means everything in our fridge uh, potentially goes bad, which would be a complete and utter disaster. It would indeed. All right. All clear? Okay. I'll see you guys. Uh, I'll probably just see you guys at the forward operating base, um, uh, but I'll keep the recorder running in case something crazy happens between now and then. Okay, we made it to the FOB. We got tagged by a frickin' uh, bat in the back while we were fighting some hunters. So, yeah, that was fun. Uh, let's eat this. And uh, I'm just going to eat that and that, too. I know I could start the fire, but I don't want to... I don't really want to start the fire right now. Okay, so let's put some stuff in here. Uh, let's see, we got five bandages. I want... Six. Let's do at least seven bandages just because we're going down into the danger zone. And then uh, we're going to put all of this stuff in here. We don't need to take that down with us. We do need to take these, of course. All of that can stay in here. Okay, let's grab all of these waters. We will use the blueberry waters. Well, here. Mm, let's leave half of them here. Uh, we'll use these waters to wash our hands because there is, uh, you know, when we get blood on it and stuff, because there's no, <clears throat> there are no streams down in the lava zone. Well, there's lava streams. And then we'll use the blueberry waters to dr to hydrate because we're going to get really thirsty. Um, so hopefully that's enough. And I think we're just going to take all the ammo down there. I should have made another pick, man. Look at my, <laughs> look at my pick already. Uh, oh, well. Okay, so let's drink this and get our hydration up. We're pretty good <coughs> on food. Our health should come back. And um, actually, too, this uh, 
all of this stuff here we're going to take back to the surface with us. We don't need that. Whoa, I didn't mean to do that. We don't need this many of these down here, actually. The only reason these are down here at all is to make more fire starters if we need to. So everything we put in this chest, we take home. We take back up to topside with us. And then everything in this chest stays here. So let's let's grab and take maybe 25 of those. So, yeah, we got, got a little protein. We got some carbs and water there. And let's see, we got seven bandages. So I think we're good to go. Okay, let's do this. Our first trip to the lava caves. It's going to be awesome. Okay, let's grab these guys and get right to the edge and climb on down. We will continue to gather crystal while we're down here and coal and all that. And if you guys have never seen the lava caves, um, we will come across, hopefully, several crates down here that you have to break open. And those crates will have um, high-end loot in it. Like, even better loot than you'll find in a locked crate. All right, let's put this back down here. And we are gonna, of course, encounter hunters too, so let's be ready for them. And as you can see on the right-hand side, we are also hot down here. But we should be fine with, with our waters. Let's grab this crystal here. Keep our eyes peeled for the lava hunters. They kind of remind me of um, of Borderlands uh, bandits because they have the gas masks on. Apparently, I've I've been told that the gas mask that they wear is a is a rare drop that we can get from them, but I've never seen one myself. Hasn't happened to me yet. Um, these actually give just a tiny bit of hydration, too, so we're just going to eat them straight up when we find them. Okay. Just looking for the crates, looking for resources. We'll have to deal with bats down here, too, as well as the hunters. Okay, I hear them somewhere. Just heard him jack around in. Right there. There he is. Okay, we gotta take a health pack. How's our armor? Yeah, armor's in good shape. Okay, we will get gears off of these guys, which is good too, because <clears throat> we need those, of course, for breaching charges and I think for the the base cracker too. All right. go through here stay low is that a hunter over there no I don't think so all right you know what I think <laughs> I think I'm not going to grab coal. Let's just grab crystal because 
I don't have, uh, I only have one more pick after this, and Cole's nice to have, but it's not nowhere near as important as the crystal is. Alright, so we'll go around this way. So far, no crates. They're not... They're not ever abundant down here. I've taken trips down here and only found like one. But usually, you know, I find three, four, three or four in a in a trip. Looks like there's either crystal or no, I think that's phosphorus. Uh, whatever, whatever that white crap is that we make. Phosphorus, yeah. Okay. So this is as far as you can go up on this end, and then you cross over this bridge here. And then I just start working my way back down this way. Okay, here's a crate. Nice. Let's see what we get. Shotgun shells and water. Okay, that's not bad. That isn't bad. Not all of this stuff is better than lock crates. I mean, we would have gotten some of that from lock crates too, but you can get like, you know, these medical packs in, in, in the here, and there was, there's a couple other pretty high end things you can get too. I can't remember, like. Uh, oh, shotgun slugs. Yeah, you can get shotgun slugs out of these. These crates. Okay, there's often a bat that spawns in around this area. So let's keep our eyes peeled. That's just another coal node. We're not seeing a ton of crystal. Okay, let's go back over here for a second. And just kind of look off over this ledge. Okay, there's crystal down there. And there's some... Phosphor down there. Oh, here's a crate. They can be hard to see. <laughs> and they do take durability off your axe too why trees don't I don't know but that's just the ways uh, cold games made the game okay so let's get this uh, what seriously that thing just disappeared but hey look what we just found <laughs> Grenade, nice, and a health pack. Take it. We'll take it, baby. There's our bat friend. You know what? I'm just gonna use a shotgun on his ass. It's easier that way. <laughs> I'm trying than trying to hit him with the doggone pistol. Okay, let's immediately turn the hide into a bandage, and we're just gonna eat that straight up. We'll wash our hands in a little while, just in case we run into another bat. We are like super thirsty. Okay, so, oh shit. We got company. I got to I got to get behind cover cuz too many of them were coming at the same time. How did that not kill him? Two magnum rounds to a bare chest and he's still standing. What the hell, man? That's bullshit. Okay. That was a little intense. 
We got the job done, though. Uh, shouldn't there be another... Oh, yeah, it's up here. Alright, let's make uh, another bandage. Whew, okay. That's nothing up there. Uh, oh yeah, here we go. I, was, I knew I had seen... Oh, good, there's a box too. Let's get that first. Nice, a health kit and an ingot and some rifle rounds. Take it. You know what? This is about ready to expire, so we are now on our last... Oh, here. Last pick. Next time, note to self, bring even more picks <laughs> when you come down here. All right, how's our hydration? Let's take one more of these, and I'm going to wash my hands. And there's another hunter right over there. Oh, man. Terrible shooting. Terrible, terrible, terrible shooting. Bastards are tough, man. They don't even have armor on either. See, he took two magnum shots and he's still standing. That one that was shot at that was way over there, did he run all the way over here? I don't know if he did or not. Okay. Got some uh, phosphor phosphorus down here. See something over that way? I can't remember. Or I can't tell, rather. No, I think we're good. Okay. Alright, now, what we're gonna do... Is, oh, there's another dude way up there. Alright, let's just leave him alone. And we got our bat friend. You know what I forgot to do is bring a friggin' uh, antibiotic down here. We got it in the FOB, but not down here, which wasn't smart on my part. Let's just eat that and that. Okay. So, let's take another drink. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the northern cave. Because, um, oh, man, that's the second time it just disappeared right in front of our face. That's bullshit. Bullshit, I tell you. Um, so yeah, the lava cave, oh, here we go. The lava cave intersects with the northern cave, or rather, it connects the so south cave with the north cave. We got some cotton seed out of that. That was kind of a lame one, though, really. <laughs> Think about it. Okay, any crates? More crates? Yeah, Cold Games needs to code it so that if the player's looking at a resource, don't let it despawn. You know what I mean? Or harvesting it. Alright, we got more hunters. Okay, let's go around the corner here.
guys are so stupid. Shoot me right through the rock. That's it, just you two. All right, let's go up this way towards the north cave. Uh, you can find, you know, the crates anywhere all the way up to the cliff that you climb in and out of. So it's worth running all the way up here to look. There's one right there. Right on the edge of the fire river. What do we got? Nice, we got some rope. And, oh, and a lockpick too. That's a good crate. That is a very good crate. Yes, indeed. So yeah, see, you can get a little bit better stuff than you would from a locked crate, but some of the stuff is the same kind of thing you would get in a locked crate. Let's eat those. Sometimes there's hunters right up. Oh, did I just hear somebody jack around in? Or maybe that was me. Yeah, that might have been me. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to climb up into the north cave and cool off a little bit. There's some water not too far in that we'll go wash our hands with. Just take a little coffee break before we head back down um, and go back. So I would like to also have, <clears throat> excuse me, have an FOB on this end too, and we eventually will. But um, yeah, so, so that is planned for, for the future. We are out of magnum rounds. Okay. All right, so let's go up here, wash off. Hopefully there aren't any hunters like really close. Here, well, don't don't have that out. It's not gonna do you any good. What are you gonna do, throw it at him? <laughs> That'd be cool if you could pistol whip in this game. I don't think you can, uh, not that I'm aware of. Okay. There's hunters up there, but they're, I think they're far enough over to where we don't need to worry about them. <clears throat> Excuse me. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the North Cave. This is our first time in the North Cave in Season 2. There's some phosphor over there. We'll go grab that. Let's get our hands washed. Now, um, this cave... Well, I guess we can't access the map here, but this cave you can get to from... Pine Lake, which is the northern lake. And then, you know, in the future, Cold Games is going to, uh, in a future update, he's going to allow us to be able to get down to the caves without having to first go through the lake. So I'm not sure when that's going to happen, but when it does, it'll be cool because then you don't need the scuba gear to get down here. We'll still, you'll still probably want the scuba gear for, um, uh, you know, for diving down to the bottom of the lake to get clams and stuff like that, but... Alright. I don't want to spend a whole lot of time here. It looks really cool, though, with that waterfall and everything. Um, and I'm, you know, I'm actually not as familiar with the North Cave as I am the South Cave, because I've been in the South Cave, you know, I don't know, probably a dozen times at least now, and I've only been all the way through this cave once or twice. But... At some point, especially once we get the FOB set up, we'll, we'll come through here and do some exploration. Okay, let's head back down to the lava zone. 